you tell me what's going on, my friend. Well, it does fine, okay? But um, when I go to put gas in, it wants to be kind of sluggish. And it doesn't want to start up right away. Okay. And it's like a pressure, a pressure issue somewhere. That's why I was looking at... Um, Filter that goes into the, the 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 gas filter that goes into the carburetor and no timing, and I got looking at the um, motor a little bit. I don't have the tool to be able to take the uh, vent cover off. Okay. That I'm getting, but um, um, doesn't have your um, like spark plug wires. It has. Um, Sensors. So the, the problem that you're having is that it has a hard start condition just after getting gas. Is that correct? All right. And your question to me is what could be causing this? Is that correct? Right. Okay. So the most likely cause that we see is a faulty canister purge solenoid valve located under the hood right by the throttle body assembly. Yeah, it's called a canister evaporative emissions canister purge solenoid valve. Canister solenoid valve? Canister purge. I don't know why I can't hear that much. That's all right. I'm having a hard time hearing you too. That's okay. If you want, what I can do for you is I can I can reply oh, back in our on. chat with this information so that way you have it written down. It's called the evaporative emissions canister purge solenoid valve. The reason being is because some people call it a purge solenoid and some people call it a purge valve. It's basically the same thing. So what you need to do is you need to go to the store and, and the parts store or the GM dealership and order a canister purge valve or a canister purge solenoid and then replace it. And that will take care of your concern, my friend. Okay. Do you have any other questions while we're on the phone? Um, where is it? It's it's located on the th on the intake manifold, right by the throttle body assembly under the hood. Okay, uh, you still have to take the um, um, cover off for the air air vent to uh, get to it. There might be a, a like an engine cover that you have to remove to access it. Yeah, but it won't be very hard. It says remove the okay. air air cleaner outlet duct, and then. Disconnect the evaporative emissions pipe from the evap emissions canister purge valve. Remove the front plenum panel. So it, it shouldn't be too hard. I'll get a look at all of that. All right. Sounds good, my friend. Good luck. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.